Cash Cow back with another video, guys. We're going to keep it rolling today. Got time today. So, I want to, I was kind of been like speculating, right? When I wondered what kind of Legions of Monsters team will we get? Will we get the Legions of Monsters number one? Oh, will we get the Legions of Monster number 28? Marvel Premiere t number 28. Sorry, guys. Now, let's dive deep into these comics, all right? With Legions of Monster number one, we got the teams up. We got Dracula. We got Frankenstein and Manphibian. And actually, that's the first appearance of Manphibian is in this comic. Now, Marvel premiere number 28. We got Ghost Rider, Man Thing, Morbius, and Ghost Rider. But, if you actually read the comics, you will know that this book is not a conventional team up, being the fact that Ghost Rider actually fights the other monsters to protect an alien. Hmm. Kind of makes you think, right? Because, okay, we've seen Man-Thing, right? We've seen Werewolf by Night. We've seen Morbius. We haven't seen Ghost Rider yet. We know it's speculation for Dracula. We haven't seen Frankenstein and Manphibian yet, right? Now, with the fact that I believe that monsters will be introduced even more with the next phase after this, kind of makes you think like, okay, well, which Legions of Monster team will we get? Will we get this one or will we get this one? Now, we fast forward. Werewolf by Night. Right? It's an Easter egg on the wall. If you guys pay attention to when he's reading the hieroglyph uh, hieroglyphics, he sees a hieroglyphic symbol of Manphibian. So, will they actually show the origin of the first original Legions of Monsters and then build towards Marvel Premiere 28 and show the second appearance because I mean we've actually on we already got three members out of this group we've seen on the big screen. Only one we're we're waiting on is Ghost Rider, which a lot of people have been speculating on that. That's another story. Me myself included, right? But. If they show the legions of monsters, right? Will they do it where they show an origin story of how they begin, how they were, and then lead to that? Either way it goes, guys. As you can see, I have both comics. I, f I really feel like, in my honest heart, that that's the way they're gonna go they're gonna show an origin story or they're gonna premiere this as the legions of monsters and then go back and show the origin story of how it began and maybe they kind of pass the mantle down to them i mean we've seen three of the four members in this group from this book alone so we're only waiting on ghost Rider. Then you have speculation with the Midnight Suns, so we don't know how that's going to be, what we're going to get with that. But we know for a fact the way, if you watch the ending of Werewolf by Night, you know that they're going to continue with the monster mythological dark realm, right? Do they continue with that? I really want you guys input on this and like what do you speculate do you I mean because the, 
They have another uh, Legions of Monsters number, I think, one that's like a, a more of a modern, newer issue that has like Ella Bloodstone and characters like that. But we have seen Ella Bloodstone in Werewolf by Night. So it's like we've seen, we've seen certain characters being introduced. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe. They can make their own version of Legions of Monsters. It has been shown at times that they are willing to kind of include some original members, but do their own thing and add certain other members that may not have been in the group, but could fit in the group. So time will tell how that has been. I can't lie to you. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that we finally get a Legion's Monster Team. I'm hoping that we finally get this hothead on the screen. Waiting to see him. But if we don't, I'm just as happy to get this group or members of both groups. Who knows how it's going to go, guys. I kind of feel like that, but I, the double down on it, I kind of feel like they're going to lead either introducing them and going back to origin story with them, or they're going to start off as an origin story with them and build it up till you get to them. Either way it goes, there's still legions of monsters. I feel like both of these books are valuable. Guys may need to take some time, look at them. They're pretty affordable right now. Although this one sells for more than that. Let's be real with that. This one has no problem selling. This one either. It doesn't have a problem selling. But this one sells for a little bit more of a premium than this. This is premium. This is unleaded. That makes sense to you. It's a franchise player. This is. At right now, this is a role player. But, all that can change. You know how the comic book market goes, like, stuff changes overnight. But it's just something that's been harboring. I'm like, okay, well, are they going to go in this direction? Are they going to go in that direction? But that's my honest opinion. I feel like they're either A, going to do what they do, start with newer and go back old or they can start out with old and then build it up to the new time will tell guys <sighs> speculation stuff is crazy cause I'm like what are they gonna do and you don't know but that's the part that drives you cause you don't know and with that being said, guys, Cash Cow with another video. Legions of Monsters. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Hey, I'll read them. Respond to them. Maybe we can discuss theories together and keep it moving. Alright? I'm out.